in beauty product equality news. Finally. Oh. Finally, thank God. Finally. Oh. Finally, I always wanted to fucking use mascara. <laughs> <laughs> Submitted by, oh, pepperoni nipples. That's me. <laughs> show us, show us. Big ass nipples, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> it. And when it's hot, it gets bigger. It's like <laughs> really, yeah. like it wow. spreads like that. When it's cold, they it's expand. Your it nipples expand. Oh, My areolas relax like it's a hot tub. <laughs> it's like a. Flame. They're not circular anymore. They're like fucking the street. <laughs> it's like a sunflower in the springtime. It fucking opens up. It's like those blooming tea leaves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You put it in hot water, just. Ah. It's like a fucking sea urchin. <laughs> Give us another example. Like what else? What else is there? I know there's so many. It's like, oh, it's like opening an umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like yeah. taking your straw wrapper and putting a drop of water on it. Oh, oh I like that. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. A woman is suing Walmart over segregated beauty products. No! I've never heard of segregated beauty products. What does that mean? Oh, you mean like black people products and white people products? I guess. Uh, first of all, that helps out a lot. Really? Yes, because there's a lot of like very like Afro-American centric. Is that the PC term that we're looking for here? That's pretty good. That's geared towards black people, and there's ones that's geared towards white people. Do they have Asian soaps and shit? No, but we need Asian centric uh, like products. Like for example, I need a, a shaving blade with just maybe like half a blade on there when I shave. <laughs> I see. Yeah, because yeah. my parents own a black beauty supply store and all that stuff too, I say like a good 70% of it is not made for like white people or Asian people. Like for example, you'll never see a, a white person use fucking sulfur eight. You know, what the hell is that? Sulfur eight's like a medicated uh, a product that a lot of like black people use. It's like it's been around since I was a little kid. Yeah. You'll never see fucking white people use, use I, that I, shit. I, I use sulfur eight. All right, bro. <laughs> How do you use it? How do you use well, it? Well, I use it on my, uh, whenever I, have, I feel extra stinky. What is sulfur Cause eight? Cause sulfur eight smells terrible, by the way. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm trying to break your stereotypes, okay, asshole? It legit smells like sulfur. Really? Sulfur. So wait, what so what do you use it for? Uh, it's like is a, it hair straightener? It's, I mean, they have a, a full line of stuff. They'll have like grease and whatever, whatnot, but you'll never see people use fucking, like when, when the fuck do you see a white person use, wait, wait, actually, wave grease, sometimes. Wave grease? Like wave grease. Are waves good or bad? It's a, it's a style thing. Oh, because sometimes, like, I've, I've seen, like, on the internet and the memes and stuff, they're like, oh, their waves are coming in, and then, like, they're dogging the person, and then the person. Maybe like, because the waves look bad, but basically what happens is you get wave grease. What is waves. a wave, by the way? Okay, so if you have short black people hair, they'll get a brush, and when you brush it, waves come in. Oh, when it goes like this? Exactly. Oh, okay. That happens from, like, the wave grease and the brushing. Oh, And then you'll get nice, like, okay. clean-cut waves. Why are you the hair guy? Because he worked at a black beauty Oh, is that why? <laughs> My parents own yeah, his parents own like a wig shop. And yeah, and that's why you had the fucking, uh, the do-rags and shit like that. Why don't you have a cool style for hair, David? Huh? Simply because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude, that would be so dope if your parents always like styled up all the kids. That would in be the, sure. In like corn rolls or like, <laughs> like whatever you guys were selling there. Because that would suck yeah, too, because I feel like example. if they're not going to go to a very specific beauty supply store, and then you mix all like, uh, like very specified black beauty products with everybody's white shit, it's gonna be hella hard to find, dude. Is this black and white or is this male and female? Black and white. Oh, I knew it. Yeah. So Cause in Walmart they had that one section where it's all like my parents store shit. Oh really? Yeah. I see. I would my feel like my that's brother so laughed at me because I bought the this LA Looks gel and it said frizz control and I didn't even know what frizzy hair meant. I just bought that gel. And I don't know. He thought he was like, you don't have frizzy hair, and I didn't yeah, know like, what that means. Yeah, like you got means. like stuff. Is like, it, it's black people hair, right? Frizz, frizz control. Well, they have stuff no, like. I have, oh. I have frizz. I have frizz. frizz. Okay, well I don't even know what they what it means. It's but just he like thought when it was it's so not funny. like it's not smooth. It's like yeah. see how like there's strands kind of sticking out. And, like, <clears> and there's like a lot frizz, of like right? for example, even certain yeah. certain gels too are made for like thick hair, like Pro Style gel. Pro Style is like this thick black goop but it really tames like very hard to manage hair. And so you'll see girls who have like the ponytails and you see their hair's like rock hard. That's just pro style. So what are they saying now? David's like coming alive with all the hair knowledge, man. <laughs> I've never heard you so interested years. in something. After all oh, these years. In black beauty supplies? <laughs> yeah. You got it. <laughs> right. He was like, it's cool about the weave. Time. Yeah, right. Where were you when we needed weave information? <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, we were. I was okay. so confused about the wigs and weaves. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so black, these are black for like black uh, shampoos and stuff? Yeah, black beauty supplies. Okay. Or were they saying like, it's a discriminatory 
beauty supply because it's only for black people. A lot of like hair products. <laughs> That's not what they're so saying. A lot of hair products and a lot of like companies are actually owned by Korean people. So really? when my parents came to America, they had to be with a company that they could communicate with so they could order supplies. Why? Because so. Korean people got jungle fever or something? <laughs> we we actually ha they have a huge manufacturing for uh for like wigs, weaves, and oh. all that other shit. So you know, like Asian people, when there's a will, there's a way yeah. to make money. So that's just their... oh, like in Korea, they they there's an industry for wig manufacturing. Exactly. Oh, yeah. gotcha. I didn't know that. So going back on you saying at Walmart they have a section with black beauty supplies. What did it look like? Like was it? They just had a bunch of black beauty supplies, like just that one corner. How could you tell it was black beauty supplies? Because there was black people on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Like the model. <laughs> like the models. Yeah, like, like there's and there's obviously I'm already acclimated to those type of products. So like Dr. America, Pro Style, Sulfur all this other shit. So yeah, so what's happening here is this woman. Her name is Essie Grundy. She's a 43 year old mother of five. She was shopping. Grundy. She sounds like an evil villain. Oh no. She First looks... name's Essie. Oh. So... Every time I see Gloria Allred, though, I get a little like, oh boy. <laughs> uh, here Who is that lady? She's, a, She's like a ambulance chaser lady, basically. Yeah. <laughs> ambulance chaser. Yeah. She exploits whatever the hell's going on to for my ass. She's just a drama queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, drama lawyer. So, yeah. So then Essie was saying that she was shopping at her local Walmart in Paris, in California. Oh. And oh. <laughs> I was like, you don't look like you from Paris. I didn't even know they would let Walmart's in Paris, in Paris, <laughs> France. Yeah. So she said that she noticed, and when she walked over to the black beauty supply section, it was all encased. Oh. Oh, like razors, man. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. I thought it was like just a second. <laughs> Behind the glass. You thought it was a... <laughs> I'm sorry, that's pretty funny. <laughs> so wait, all the black supplies were <laughs> cased, but hilarious. then none of the white supplies were? No. So... It's like they're all Xboxes, basically. <laughs> right? Because you yeah. keep it all behind glass. Like they might as well put like the by wires and gates and, <laughs> and then attack all of them with like alarm sounding things like... <laughs> Yeah, she said that. David she... laughs in the face of racism. <laughs> that shit's fucking hella racist. It is fucking racist. Well, all right, I, so okay, racist. I used to work at Target, right? And the reason why they start tagging things and doing it is because of theft. They don't do it first to prevent theft. So like the razor thing, right? There, yeah. Back in the day, there, there, there wasn't any, it wasn't behind the glass or anything. But it's one of the items that's really small and easy to conceal, but you can sell it, resell it for really high value because you get like the refillable razors, that they, they could be like $50. They are expensive. And, and they're really easy to slip inside the pocket. So once that became a problem, then they started tagging those and putting them behind the glass. So I highly doubt that they did that ahead of time to say like, oh, these items are gonna be stolen. It's usually it loss stolen prevention. A lot. It's, yeah. a, it's a reaction. It's a reaction to, to uh, a problem. frequent problem. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think you have to double check. If you go in the Walmart and like all the watermelons and fried chicken are also behind like <laughs> Then they're fucked up. They shoplift then. watermelons and fried chicken? Uh, who knows? You, I mean, it depends if they're racist or not. If they're racist and they have all those things in a specific section of the kind of stereotype is yeah. like barred it, off. Yeah, it has to be everything. There'll be a lot of sad Korean people too. Yep. Yeah, so she was saying that she was even shocked when she noticed that she was trying to buy a 48 cent comb, but she still needed to get someone to assist her to get that comb. <laughs> Because it, it was partitioned Can't off. you like go through the cracks and grab the comb? I saw a crack. And you know what's funny? Well, there's behind glass. Sometimes, Not um, only that, let me add one more thing. She was trying she... to buy a basketball hoop and it was behind glass. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> oh, sometimes, you know those glass things? Even they are not even locked. You could just move it Shut to the up. side. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Oh yeah, it's that, it's that thing that goes like click, 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 yeah. like, with that, right? Dude, the razor thing is the most annoying shit ever. I started buying them online, I got so annoyed by mm -hmm. it. Dude, the baby formula, they have it too. Like, depending on the area that you shop at, uh, it'll be closed off. Condoms too. Yeah, condoms has always been a thing. Oh, really? Yeah, condoms. That's why I don't use them. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I never use them. Spray paint is always locked up because uh, I used to steal spray paint a lot. There you go. Yep. It was all because of me. Yeah, so then she was saying that, uh, you know, this is really messed up the fact that they have all these products behind these glass partitions because then it's just perpetuating the racial stereotype that African Americans are thieves. And she's saying that that's not fair, that they should be treated equal, and that all products should be available. Well, I hope she understands that this is a reaction and it's not that yeah, the it, store is being racist. Is it chicken or the egg? Like, it's one of those things where, like, uh, if it wasn't being stolen, they wouldn't put them in a case. Yeah. Exactly. So Walmart, a Walmart official, they said this. 
We're sensitive to the situation and also understand like other retailers that some products such as electronics, automotive, uh, co cosmetic and other personal care products are subject to additional security. Those determinations are made on a store by store basis using data supporting the need for right. the heightened measures. So, so what, like I said, like, I mean, just working at these places, I mean, I worked at Target for a couple years and th these things are put into play after the fact that it gets stolen a lot. So I don't think anyone's going, well, you guys know black people, they steal all the time. So we just better prevent it by putting a case on there. Like, I think that's. That's def. You know, it might not even be black people stealing it. It could even be like Asians that are reselling it at a swap meet or whatever. It's just. <laughs> I like that at a swap meet. Yeah. <laughs> Highly probable. Cause, yeah, yeah, because a lot of stolen goods actually get resold at swap meets and eBay. Gotcha. So that's why. Um, it could just be that these items are like highly bought at certain locations, and it's a thieves' favorite place to steal. So I, I think uh, they're taking it a little bit too personal by saying like, oh, this is specifically, this is specifically to just, tell people. Ah, right? but when you can sue, my friend, a certain magic comes in the air, you know? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the suing yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magic a certain and magic. Gloria yeah, and then Gloria Howard swoops in and it just becomes a, like a fucking Technicolor dream coat around you of, <laughs> of, of majesty. I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. I think um, people are always going to try to target big companies like Walmart or McDonald's or whatever. I just love the like picture that. of somebody sitting there with Gloria Allred next to them and they like have tears in their eyes like, I've been so fucked over <laughs> about about something behind glass. Like, I feel fucked over every time I try to get a fucking dick razor and, and, oh, and, you know and what? A, at a drugstore. I know exactly what I'm going to hire for her for. My insurance here in the San Gabriel Valley is way fucking more than anywhere else. Oh, that's, that's racist. Because we're a predominantly Asian neighborhood. And everyone and knows Asian people can't drive. Right, that's, that's why. It's, it's that not why? that we can't yeah. drive, we just crash more. Yep. No, okay. they're doing that because that's the stereotype, so well, they're banking on what the I'm stereotype. Saying. I fucking hate that factual stereotype. <laughs> It's true. Dude, Nikki, I, it's so funny. When, when I got with Nikki, she was always like, oh, Asians are so bad at driving or whatever. And I was like, that's not true. I don't know what you're talking about. And then. She started driving? Year, no, over years of us driving together. She's like, see, he was Asian. He sucks at driving. <laughs> see, she was Asian. She sucks at driving. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm, uh, stop it. I don't want to see your point. I don't I don't like your point. Like, it just. She but just, now you see it. I do see it. Yeah. And now that I'm an Asian, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Limo. That's right. I'm a. I am married Asian, so you know. Yeah, it's part of your DNA there now. There you go. That's who I am. My kids are gonna be Asian, so whatever, dude.